Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a glammed up makeup look. So we're starting off with our eyes and just prepping them with the NYX Skin Tone Eye Primer. And then we're going to pop a little bit of sticky tape on the outer corners so we get a really crisp line. So I've just taken all the tackiness off the tape first before putting it on. And we're using the Maybelline the Nudes palette today. So I'm just using the buffed sort of cream coloured shadow all over the lid to set that eye base. And we're going in with the two mid-toned matte browns and running them through the crease and from inner corner to outer corner and running it right up against that bit of sticky tape and using a sort of fluffy crease brush and just going back in and adding more product and blending it out as we go. And then we're going to pick up that fluffy crease brush that we put down the first shadow with and just blend out that top line. I'm going in with a sort of pointed crease brush, a bit more defined, and we're going in with the darker brown just to make that sort of crease more defined, and we're using the charcoal matte shadow in the palette, and we're popping that on the outer corner and into the crease just to build and layer the colour and bit by bit get definition, and going in on both sides and working right into that inner corner. We want a really nice dramatic smoky look today for this glammed up look. So just using the matte black in the sh in the palette and a flat shader brush. So we're just packing the colour on. We're not actually swiping it on. We're packing the colour on, just avoiding the inner corner so that we can have a brighter colour on that inner corner. And just packing the colour on. And then we're going to blend, pack more colour, blend, more, pack more colour. So I didn't film all of that packing on and blending, but that's basically what we've done. And I just use a... Um, clean sort of crease brush that's nice and fluffy just to blend out and then go back in with the shadows and just picking up the two shimmery colors in the palette that are sort of vanilla -y sort of champagne colored and putting them on the inner corner and then onto the running it around that whole inner corner and then we'll go back in with that same flat shader brush that we had the black on and just no extra product just blend it so the two colors are blended together really really nicely and sort of creates a um, sort of charcoal-y sort of bit on the inner corner and just going back in with our two fluffy crease brushes First off, the one that's got the browns on it that we put through the crease to make sure all those colours are transitioning and then just blending that colour out again with our big fluffy brush that we um, first put our cream coloured shadow on. So just blending, blending, blending and just going in with a black coal pencil lining our tight line and waterline and you can see that we've taken the tape off and we've got a really crisp line on that outer corner. So just using the black shadow on an eyeliner sort of smudgy brush. Don't worry about it being harsh at the moment because we will blend it out and we're going from the lower lash line from inner corner to outer corner. Just using those matte brown transition shades to blend that out and then going in with a crease brush that's fluffier and blending it out again. And just going in on that inner corner and just making sure that that bit's really nice and highlighted with those champagne colours and then also going over the top with a gold colour just to warm it up a little bit. Just going in and lining our top lash line with um, the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. Just doing a little flick on that outer corner. Just taking that first fluffy crease brush that we've used and just very lightly um, blending out that edge. Popping on some mascara now using the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara. And popping on a couple of coats and then just cleaning up any of the fallout with the Simple Micellar Water. So just going to prime our face with a couple of different primers today. So first off I'm using the Maybelline um, Baby Skin which fills in your pores and then we're going in with the Lumi Magique from L'Oreal just to get um, a really nice luminous sort of feel to our face. I'm going to let those products settle in and I'm just going in with some of the Metallics eyeshadows from Australis. So the first one is like a blackened gold or blackened red sort of colour. And then we're going in with a sort of golden sort of colour around the inner corner. All the products that I've used today will be in the description box below. So just popping on our foundation now. And I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Matte, um, Infallible Pro Matte I think it's called. And just using a buffing brush and buffing that all over my face. So one layer on now. 
buffing it up into the hairline and just going back in and adding a little bit of extra product through the sort of T-zone area where I need it. Just going to do some highlighting now. So I'm using the Maybelline um, Eye Brightener Concealer Pen, Treatment Pen, and going sort of through the middle part of my face, down my nose, around my nose, chin, Cupid's bow, and then we're going in with two of the LA Girl Pro Conceals in I think it's creamy beige and ivory and gone over all those same areas that we first put down the other one we want this look to be really highlighted and um, glowy looking so just blending those in with the elf concealer brush and then once we've finished blending those products in I'm going to use my foundation brush just to go around the edges to make sure everything's all blended out and there's no harsh lines at all. And we're going to do a little bit of highlighting and contouring. So just using the uh, Models Prefer Contour Stick and going around the edges of my face, down my nose, through my contour sort of cheekbones and under my lip and jawline as well. And then just adding a little bit of the Astralis highlights in pearl um, on my tops of my cheekbones and above my brow bone and on my cupid's bow. And just going to blend out those contour lines. Not going to leave them how they look. <laughs> and just using a duo fiber brush. I think that one's from Models Prefer. And then just around the nose, I'm just going to use my finger and tap in. Don't want to sort of move that product too much. So you can notice that in this video I've actually used quite a number of all, all drugstore products and all drugstore cheap, um, cheaper um, brushes as well. So just going in with um, the Models Prefer Soft Focus um, powder, just going through and setting all those areas that I put the highlighter on and then using the Rimmel Lasting Finish powder and just popping a small amount of that, not too much because we've got quite a bit of product on our face and I'm just going to set and make sure everything's all blended in perfectly and yeah just popping that everywhere going in with my Maybelline Master Sculpt on a stippling brush and we're just going to be um, what's the word bronzing up our face with this particular product so so just popping that on the tops of my cheekbones just above my brows in a corner to the nose and Cupid's bow. I'm going to do some contouring, so just sort of chisel those cheekbones out a bit. And I'm going to use the Models Prefer Contour Collection, and I'm just going to use the dark shade in the Models Prefer Contour Brush. This brush is a little bit too fat, so I'm just going to pinch it in a touch, just so I can get a little bit more of a defined line. really harsh on camera but in person it doesn't. Back into your main brush and just buff out the edges. Easio Pink which is a matte bright sort of pink and then also Luminosa which is a gorgeous sort of shimmery coral. So I'm going to mix those two blushes together and just popping that on my cheeks just between the contour and the highlight. Right, let's get some brows on people because I feel like I'm looking a bit nude. Master Precise in soft brown and deep brown I think it is. Yep soft brown and deep brown and then my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Just very gently filling in the brow. You might notice that my sound's a little bit better. In the second half of the video, I realised I didn't have my microphone turned on. Rookie mistake. And just brushing the product through. Now that I've sort of filled in the brow the way that I like it to look, I'm going in with the darker one and actually sort of creating hairs. So soft strokes and actually creating hairs. And then just run the spoolie 
through the brows and adding these got little fibers in it so sometimes you'll find that they'll cling to spots that you don't want it to cling to but then you can just push your brows up so you get that nice sort of fit in the brow hair that you actually have get that nice sort of feathery look to it the first time i've used those astralis metallics eyeshadows on top of shadows and i wasn't sure if they would crease or not and pleased to say they haven't let's put some lashes on so i'm going to use my model rock 747 smalls and these are the ones that i've cut in half so they're nice and easy to apply duo clear glue so just running a small amount This actually comes out blue, sort of. No, I did. The camera's going to focus. Kind of blue looking, which is bizarre considering it's clear. And I like to use, when I'm putting lashes on myself, um, the Ardell Lash Applicator, I guess you call it. I can get these from Priceline. So you just have to wait for the glue to get tacky because there's no point trying to put lashes on if the glue's not tacky because uh, it'll just keep moving all over the place now if you're putting lashes on yourself for a formal event you want to practice you want to practice heaps and heaps and heaps that's why I always give myself more time than what I think I'm going to need when I'm putting on makeup and especially if I'm going to put lashes on because guaranteed that's the time when one lash will go on easy and the other one won't and it's just practice 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 and if you don't think you can do it and you're doing it for a formal event like a formal or a wedding or something like that Get someone else to put them on you get them to practice putting them on you so that because it is easier to put them on somebody else than to put them on yourself um, so yeah that's my tips that if you're going to be putting lashes on for an event um, and you're not feeling so confident about it get someone else to do it for you I position my mirror here and I come down from the top and you sort of want to tilt your head so that you've got all this eye space and you just want to pop them on the lash line and then I just usually go in wait for it to actually because if you can go in straight away and start messing around with it sometimes the glue is still a little bit tacky and it'll stick to the edge of this and then it'll just keep pulling it off and start all over again so I think that's probably the best thing about having little three-quarter lashes or half lashes to start off with to get because you don't need to trim them or anything like that and they just pop straight on so these ones I think I've worn about four or five times so you just need to take make sure you're looking after them properly and that one's on so probably not be able to see this very well gonna wait for that glue to dry and once the glue is dry I usually just go back in with my liquid liner just to make sure that there's no glue showing through because sometimes even though it's clear and it dries clear it can show a little bit shiny so just gonna wait for that to happen while we're doing that we're gonna do the lips now I'm gonna give two lip options today one's gonna to be a nude and one's gonna be a bright lip as well so three products that I'm going to use and I'm gonna use my Australis uh, lip liner and this is in misbehave and then I've got my Velour Lips in Paris and also my Savvy Ultra Matte Lip, lip Colour in Lights Camera. You're using a long wear lip product, you want to make sure your lips are really well moisturised. Do a lip scrub, make sure, make sure that there's no uh, dry skin whatsoever on your lips because yeah, you'd be better off just going off the gloss if your lips are dry. So I'm going to use Lights Camera first because it's a little bit darker. A little bit of an ombre lip. So just have to wait for that matte lip cream to dry. A little bit of the pari just in the middle. So that's the nude lip. Um, what do you guys think? I really like it with a nude lip because um, it just balances out the look. But if you want to go for a bright lip, we're going to have a red lip as another option. So 
we'll take this lip color off. The color that I'm going to use is the Australis Velour Lips in NYC. But you know, you don't have to use these colors, you can go with whatever you like. But I thought I'd go with the red because it's going to pull in that black and red that we've got on, um, we had there's that extra little bit on our eyes with the Australis Metallics. Now just remember if you are going to a formal event and you're wearing a bright lip or a lip colour, that's a colour not a nude, be prepared you're going to have to touch it up most of the night, okay? And that's it with the red lip. What do you think, guys? Rocker. So, you know, I've got my pretty earrings in and I'm going to do my hair now. And I'm, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!